Hello and welcome back to our CSWA sample exam video series. My name is Kaylee Gonzalez and I'm glad you were able to join me. So I have been walking you guys through the modeling portion of the CSWA sample exam. I do have two previous videos that go through questions three, four, and five. As you can see on my screen, this video is going to address question number six. So where we're going to start is actually at the end of question five. That's where I got my model from that we're going to adjust. What we're taking a look at right now on my screen are the views that SOLIDWORKS has provided us that will guide us through what type of changes we need to make. And really what we're doing here is we're making a pocket feature. This is showing us some dimensions and also showing us through the section view exactly what is being cut. All of the items that still have the, the diagonal hash lines, that is material. So this is giving us a really good understanding of what exactly is getting cut. And the couple dimensions that they list here are gonna be significant. So one other piece of advice or ob observation that I made is after the one millimeter dimension, there's a TYP, that means typical. Usually when taking a SOLIDWORKS exam, when I see that, it means one of two things. It could potentially mean that I want to do a shell feature, which would give me a uniform wall thickness, or it could indicate that I'm going to be using the offset entity sketch feature. So one of those items are what we're going to be using. Now taking a look at the section view, we know it's not gonna be the shell feature because it doesn't really make sense the entire part is not going to have a uniform wall thickness. It's just a very specific portion. So with that in mind, we can already rule out the shell feature and we're ready to see what other information they give us on the actual question. So as you can see, it's telling us that we are supposed to use the part we created in the previous question and modify it. And that's where we're going to start. And then we want to make note of the two comments that they've given us. So only one pocket on one side is to be added. The modified part is not going to be symmetrical. And we want to assume that all unspecified dimensions are the same as in the previous question. So what that is telling me is I don't really have to change any other dimensions. I'm really just focusing on this pocket feature. So let's go ahead and jump into SOLIDWORKS and we'll see how we can address this particular feature. With my model open in SOLIDWORKS, I'm ready to start making my edits to this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is looking at the front view that they've provided us, I'm going to open up a sketch on this face here in blue. Now with my sketch face still highlighted blue, I'm going to choose offset entities. When you have an entire face that's selected blue like this, the offset entities is going to automatically pull from the perimeter of that face, which is what we're seeing here. You can always choose it individually as well. Now what we're seeing is an orange representation of what my new sketch entities are going to look like. Now I'm going to reverse the direction because I want this to be inside. I'm going to be making an internal cut on this face. So when I click OK, we're going to see some sketch relations specific to the offset entities, and we can see that we have a uniform wall thickness of one millimeter through this entire perimeter. That's one of the most powerful items of the offset entities. I don't actually have to do any editing or any sketch relations. The sketch is fully defined. So I'm going to go into my extruded cut feature. And the question that we have here really is, what exactly is my end condition going to be? Well, I'm going back into my PDF and I am gonna observe the TYP, which means typical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an end condition that is offset from surface. And I'm going to choose this back face here that's now highlighted in pink. And I wanna make sure that my dimension is going to be one millimeter. What this is going to do, if I zoom in, it's going to make sure that there is, again, a uniform wall thickness of one millimeter before the pink face. So I'm gonna stick with that because that's information that they are implying with the TYP. So we've made a portion of our pocket feature. The next thing that we want to do is 
make sure that we cut this internal portion. So what I'm going to do here is I need to make sure to compensate for this rad radial edge or face and I want to make sure that that also has a one millimeter thick offset from it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to change my display style to be hidden lines visible and I'm going to open up a sketch on this internal face. What I can do here is I'm going to use convert entities on the edges that are already part of an offset. So these edges that I'm manually clicking, I've already offset them in a different feature. So I just need to convert them. I don't need to offset them again. And then I can choose my offset entities on just this, this arc or radial surface. And again, we wanna make sure that that's going to go inside of my cut. So I don't need to reverse that direction. Now when you use items like convert entities and offset entities, we often end up with these little outliers of additional sketch items. So just use your trim tool. I'm using my power trim to clean up those extra items so I don't run into any errors. And as you can see, I have my shaded section in the middle of my sketch. So I know everything's been cleaned up and I'm ready to start and do my cut extrude. So we know that we want to make sure that there's going to be 12 millimeters of thickness from this back edge. So again, I'm going to do offset from surface. I'm going to click on that face and I'm going to say that that's going to be 12. A different way that you could approach that is this thickness is already 12, so you could also extrude up to the surface. That is if we know for sure that those faces are always going to be the same, this is going to give us the same answer. So once I have that, I'm going to change my display style back to shaded with edges. And if you want to do a sanity check, go ahead and do that. We have a section view. This is going to be referencing my top plane. And if I drag this up, again, we can see exactly what this is going to look like. And it looks identical to what we were provided as a section view from SolidWorks. So from here, I don't have to make any other changes. I don't have to change the material or dimensions. So I'm going to go under my evaluate tab, view my mass properties, and we can see that my grams is 432.58 grams, which is identical to the answer key. So we know that we're good there and we were able to successfully make that pocket feature. So again, the real challenge in this particular exercise was knowing uh, that you can't use the shell feature. If you try to use the shell feature, you're, you're gonna really dig yourself into a hole with this, but we can utilize some of those advanced sketch items such as offset and convert entities. So this concludes our part modeling video on the CSWA. I do have one additional video regarding the CSWA exam and that goes over the last two questions which are regarding assembly. So take a look at that video to finish off the sample exam. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.